All right, you guys, this next video is going to be on the Glock 17 Gen 3, the OG polymer pistol. For years, I've been crapping on this and on Glocks in general because I never liked the way it felt and the trigger and all that stuff. But this channel is all about improving firearms and making them as pleasurable to shoot as possible and as accurate as possible and as awesome as possible. So I got a Glock 17. We're going to do all the things to this Glock to improve the things I don't like. So let's go over them. Well, the first thing that I don't like about a Glock is just the weight. I always felt that it felt cheap. It's got a polymer frame and a metal upper, so it feels top heavy. So the thing I don't like is it just feels top heavy, and we're gonna try and fix that. It's 22 ounces factory, so we're gonna put an SJC Customs steel magwell on the bottom and SJC Customs frame weight with the thumb rest on the frame. Thanks to Steve for sending those parts to me, and that's gonna hopefully help balance out the feel of the top and bottom. The other thing I don't like is this squishy trigger. So if you notice this Glock, the trigger has a lot of pre-travel and it's kind of heavy. And the brake is not 1911 glass braking. It's a little bit squishy. So that's the reset, which we'll try to improve as well. And that brake just squishes a bit. So I talked to Johnny Glocks about what the best combination would be. And I got the Timney. Alpha Competition Trigger with Johnny Glock's Vex Trigger Shoe. That combination hopefully is gonna fix a lot of that. So we're gonna try that out. The next thing I don't like is the feel of the side panel factory stippling. It's just not grippy, it's very slippery. I don't mind the back straps or the front straps of finger grooves, I actually like them. So we're just gonna try and stipple these. So OT Defense sent me their Thorns stipple tip and I'm gonna try my first attempt at stippling a Glock frame. So let's see how that goes. The other things that we're going to do, Springer Precision sent a nice racker for the back plate. We're going to put that on a new slide, new upper entirely. Wasatch Arms sent a compensator that uh, fixes to the frame. So you can use standard barrels with it. We're going to compare that to the mass driver compensator and see the effects. So we're basically going to do a lot of product comparison and improvements upon this stock Glock 17, five pounds, six pounds right there. And we're gonna to try to improve that to get it to three, maybe even sub three, but definitely better than five pounds, another six pound pull. So our goal is to beat that six pound pull, beat the squishy pre-travel and the weird break, fix the feel of the frame, improve the balance, the weight balance from the top and bottom and do a lot more to this thing. So stay tuned for this build. It's gonna be awesome and hopefully I'll love shooting Glocks after this. All right, you guys, phase one of this Glock build is complete. Let's go over the things that I uh, wanted to fix about this build in general. So the weight feels a lot better now and that's thanks to SJC Customs uh, sending me their frame weight and heavy steel magwell. So we started out with a 22 ounce factory Glock and now we have almost a 41 ounce Glock, so that's as heavy as my 2011s, which is great. Uh, the next thing that I didn't like was the feel of the factory stippling, so I used the Thorns tip from OT Defense, and I uh, just kind of emulated the panels already because I actually don't mind the back and front strap stippling, and it feels just a lot more secure, so OT Defense has a really good selection of tips you can use, and I'm a beginner and I was able to do it, so you can do it. Uh, the next thing, let's go over the trigger. So I didn't like the squishy Glock trigger. I outlined the spots where the factory, so that's that black line. The black line is the factory where the trigger sets back. So that's where the reset is, the second one. And that last one is the break. With this new, this is a Timney trigger with Johnny Glock's trigger shoe, the Vex trigger shoe. It rests at that blue line and almost a straight down vertical plane right there. So it's really nice. And then I used a Zev connector and that's the wall right there boom that's the break let me show you the reset the reset is that second blue line right there so short reset and trigger is a lot better let's do a quick pull two pounds 12 ounces three pounds so about a three pound sub three pound pull which is great um, there's also the SJC thumb rest, so I like that. It's really nice. There's some gold pins, gold slide stop, extended magazine release. 
just to kind of pimp it out a bit. Probably notice this new slide. This is a Zafiri Precision 17L long slide and super long nine inch lone wolf barrel. I'll be doing things to this in phase two and there's more stuff coming in phase two. Uh, this thing in the back is really cool. I mean, I love it. This is the Springer Precision Racker, which goes on the slide plate. And um, these are Dawson. It's an adjustable rear sight fiber, opt fiber optic front sight and the sight picture. Also very nice, so I'm getting a lot happier with this Glock, and I can't wait to shoot it. So um, these are the things that I've done so far. Stay tuned for more.